Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Platinum. In the last part, we explored Heart Home City just a tiny bit, and this part, we're gonna be going into the contest hall here. And hello, Mom! What the hell are you doing here? What? That would have been interesting to know, Mom. You've been holding out on me this whole time? Uh-huh. Yeah? It's... You're the first mother in any Pokemon game to appear outside of a hometown. Let alone in an important place. Uh, your mom will give you a tuxedo if you're playing as the boy character, or a dress if you're playing as the girl character. They're not really anything important, they're just for aesthetic looks when you enter a contest. Right here, you're gonna want to talk to this person. Uh... Okay... Random French. Oh, hi, Fantina. Yeah, if you tried to go to the gym before, the gym leader would not be there, so you had to talk to her. Talk to her. I don't know why I said that like that. Uh, this guy will give you a free mild poffin. Um, I'd like to do a practice thing, but that'd be kind of boring, so... Let's go ahead and, well... Let's see here, who's most fit for contests? Rodom has... Okay, I guess we're going with Stereo Hearts for the cute contest. How ironic. Wow, that's actually a very good Poffin. <laughs> Holy crap. Ah, it went up and cool the most. I want to go out and queue. Uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and try these contests out. Uh, normal rank. Cute. And we get changed right here in front of everyone. Oh, nice. Uh-huh. Lacey? Ian? Gabriel? Gabriel? And last but not least, me! Now, contests work a little bit differently in Sinnoh. You have 60 seconds to dress up your Pokémon. Uh... Shit. Colorful and 60 seconds. Go and put some feathers here. Um, fluff here. It looks so crappy, but I don't have anything else to do with it. That's pretty much all I'm gonna be able to do. So now, they start the visual competition. Lacey... Whiskers. Two fluffs and glitter. Wiggy? That one actually looks kinda cool. Even though it's just a flower petal and it's... whatever those things are. 
That actually... Wow, that actually fits pretty well. Holy crap! I didn't expect that much. I dominated that. Oh man, the dance contest. Uh... I don't remember how to do this part. Oh, okay. So, right, right, jump. Alright. Left, left, up. Again, this is really hard to do with a touchpad and a mouse. Whereas with an actual stylus, you can just... Block. Block. Glad I did well on the visual part because I'm doing shitty on the dance part. Fuck. Alright. I'm just doing random moves. Sweet, I'm winning! Somehow! Anyway, this is the part that's the same in 3rd gen. You choose a move, and depending on what contest you want to do, uh... Since this is a cute contest, you want to use cute moves. And there's four rounds. Whoever has the most hearts at the end of each round determines the order of the next round. And whoever has the most hearts overall wins the entire division. Let's go ahead and use Charm. And here's another thing. You can use a move on a specific judge. And if it's the same... If the move is the same category as the contest, in this case, cute... The judge's meter will be filled up, and if it gets filled up all the way, you get bonus hearts. So let's appeal to Dexter. Voltage, that's what it is. The judge's voltage will go up, and since I use charm, voltage cannot go down. Voltage goes down if you use a move that is not the same category as the contest. And if you use the same move over and over again, you get less hearts for it. And I'm trying to... Oh yeah, if you, uh... If you appeal to the same judge as someone else, you can't get bonus hearts. Or you don't get as many bonus hearts. And we all got the same amount of hearts. Wait. What did I choose? Um, let's go with Mentronome to Jordan. Yep, that's what happens when you don't use a cute move in a cute contest, etc., etc. Man. <laughs> yes, I get three hearts bonus this turn, and now it's going to get a deduction. No, it went for Tail last time. If you use the same move twice in a row, then you get a deduction in parts. And now, using Munchernome, the order gets randomized next round. Let's see what happens here. I'm in last again, wow. Uh, let's go for Yawn on... I don't know, Kira?
kind of want to get last this round. That way I can get maximum voltage on Dexter, hopefully. So I'm hoping Precious goes to... Damn it. Should have went for Dexter. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I would go second. So I am going to hope that he goes after Dexter. Damn it! That means I just screwed myself over, because now whoever goes for Dexter is going to get a huge bonus. I did not think that through at all. Okay, so as long as that last person doesn't go for Dexter, I should be fine. This good thing I did so well in the visual part because I sucked in the last two categories. Let's see here. Did I somehow win? Visual competition I got like maxed out on. <laughs> Dance competition I did shitty on. Somehow I still did pretty well. Wow, that's actually pretty good considering how crappy I did. Yay! We did it, Serial Hearts! And a cute ribbon, that's right. Every time you win a contest of a uh, category for the first time, you get uh, an accessory for each level you beat it in. So since we beat cute normal rank for the first time, we get a cute ribbon and a pink barrette. But yeah, I do not do contests normally, I just felt like showing that off for those of you that are interested in it. And over here, we have the Wall of Fame. I believe one of these should have Stereo Hearts in it. There we go, there's Stereo Hearts. But yeah, this part's gone on a bit long enough. I kind of wanted this video to be just for contests. I might upload it as an extra or something. So next time on Pokemon Platinum, we will actually explore the rest of Heart Home City and hopefully get the gym done. See you guys then.